Hello, welcome to a presentation uh, of a user study. Uh, the population of this user study is uh, uh, it's, uh, MPs of the Swedish Parliament. But we want to talk about politics in general first. And uh, we, it's myself, Einar Spets, Sweden. And uh, this is Tim. Uh, ben Lehmann from Helsinki, Finland, from the RT University. I'm, I'm an associate professor over there. And I've uh, been with the Wikimedia, Wikimedia for, for a long time and also been following the Swedish chapter, which has been much more active than the uh, chapter in Finland, which is just about now taking video really over. Uh, Aina has been working on, or, or we worked a bit together to, to make a questionnaire for the Swedish MPs. And, and, uh, uh, for the presentation, we decided to, to make three points or, or three issues. Just a bit of general discussion about Wikipedia in politics. I have one example from Finland. Then Einar will, will uh, show the results from the, from the survey, which was made for the members of the Riksdag, the Swedish parliament. And, and, and then, then we have a proposal, which is pretty much written down in there already, that it would be interesting to make these kind of surveys for legislators. <coughs> around the world, how, how do they see Wikipedia and how do they use it in their daily work. But uh, uh, about the Wikipedia in, in politics in, in general, I, I think like, like, okay, we all know what is politics, but, but I think uh, it's good to remind us that actually it is uh, an issue where you make a decision who we get, uh, what, when and how. It's not just taking care of the, of the common business or, or administration or covering coverance. It's also a, a things where, where things are decided and, and someone will get and someone will not get something. And, and um, uh, related to that, there was a, uh, this is an anecdote, but I, I think this kind of anecdotes you can find everywhere from the world. This was something what happened now in, in, in uh, July in Finland. It ended up to be quite big news in, in Finland. Uh, there was a journalist of the Finnish broadcasting company who was interviewing the environment minister and confronting him pretty much this way. He was uh, referring to NASA and British National Weather Service statistics, which are showing that the global warming has ended. So it was a uh, scoop he was making in a, in, a, in a national television that, that you don't need to worry about the global warming. I have data which is showing that, that it's over. And of course, the minister, who minister of environment, who is trying to get the legislation, um, uh, it's is based pretty much to the, to the worries related to global warming, was responding quite nicely. Actually, he was saying that that well, the scientists are telling the facts, and, and uh, I'm just a politician who make policy based on scientific facts. But uh, 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 of course, this is con confusing a lot of people. If there's a journalist who comes from the National Broadcasting Company and it's, it's making references to data showing that, that things are, are getting better and we don't need to do policy for, for this purpose but rather even doing a policy for something like global cooling thing, it's confusing a lot of people. And then if you think uh, the members of parliament, these are Finnish members of parliament, I took one, one uh, person from every political party, they are pretty much ordinary people. Uh, uh, not to say that they are they are not good people or wise people, but they are ordinary people. There's a singer-songwriter, and there's a there's a, uh, a nurse, and there's a, a businessman and a, and a sportsman, and, and so on. So these are the people who are then confused about the messages they read, uh, what the journalists are saying, and then what the minister is trying to reply. Uh, and, and of course, just one of these people. We have eight parties in the, in the Finnish parliament, and only one, one of these people come from the same party as the, as the minister, and everybody else may be at least critical about the minister's comments. So where comes the picture of the Wikipedia, or access to information comes that, that then, of course, the members of parliament need to look for reliable sources, and, 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 and we may guess, I, I guess in this room, that we consider Wikipedia to be relatively uh, 
a reliable source, and, and, and what Wikipedia says about this topic is, is quite clear that, that scientists are more than 90% certain that it is uh, caused by, by, by greenhouse gases and by, by, uh, <clears throat> by people, so something should be done. And, and this just as, a, as an introduction to the user study, which Einar will go on, like a, a, or introduction to the fact that, that, that the politicians need reliable information. They don't have time to read the scientific uh, uh, papers or articles. They rely on, on, on encyclopedias and, 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 and journalism, of course. And plus, in a, in a democracy, they are very ordinary people. Uh, who, who, who really rely on, on other people telling them how things are when it comes to factual information. And now we continue to the, to the survey we did for the Swedish MPs. Yes, we agreed on last year's uh, Wikimania when we were standing at the Library of Congress <coughs> that we should make uh, actually two user studies uh, in our speech in our parliament. Well, so far, uh, it's only Swedish uh, uh, parliament that we have addressed. So, uh, and I was doing this on behalf of the Swedish Wikipedia, Wikimedia chapter. Uh, though they, they weren't like paying me or anything, but it was like, gave me more credit. Uh, when, when I approached the, the Parliament. Okay, so uh, it was, uh, uh, it was, uh, I put together a questionnaire and emailed it to all representatives. And uh, in Sweden, all representatives means uh, 349, there, there are 349 seats in the Swedish uh, National Parliament. And uh, today, in this, uh, period, uh, four year period, it's uh, eight parties that uh, occupies these the seats and um, the outcome of the, uh, the, the user study was 96 answers uh, and uh, they all came from, they, they came from uh, all the eight parties in Parliament. Uh, uh, well, uh, there were lots of reasons why, you, you could imagine lots of reasons why they didn't participate. Uh, it's, uh, it's not their first priority to answer questionnaires, and uh, ours is not the only questionnaire that they receive, and uh, uh, they, they, it's a kind of fatigue when you, when you uh, ask them to, uh, please, can you fill out? And uh, so uh, it was, the questionnaire was open 40 days and, uh, uh, and I had to constantly remind uh, them, uh, can, you, uh, we, uh, can you please uh, participate? Okay. Uh, so uh, some uh, that respondents was 28% of that equals more than uh, a quarter of the, the, the representatives. So, uh, and you, I, I never consider this to be scientific research. It's a user study, okay? So there is a difference. Uh, I would expect to be criticized for the low outcome uh, that uh, is 28 percentage, okay? So I'm aware of that. It could, be, it could have been better in the next uh, user study. Maybe more in your country will answer. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I, uh, another reason for not uh, participating was uh, uh, reflected in, in various emails that I received from Parliament members. And they were uh, expressing they, that they were annoyed uh, either over the the questionnaire or Wikipedia or, yeah, but there are other reasons for criticism. Uh, and I assume, I think we can assume that those who answered are more Wikipedia friendly than those who didn't answer. 
Okay. Uh, and all questions about Wikipedia was specifically pointed out to be about the Swedish language version of Wikipedia. So it's not Wikipedia in general. Uh, and the, uh, one thing that you have to take into consideration is that uh, the, the way uh, parliamentarians work, uh, they have a lot of serious tasks, of course, uh, uh, legislation and uh, state budget and, and uh, what have you. And uh, they're all serious tasks, of course, but, <clears throat> but they don't stand alone. They get a lot of help from units like the parliamentary library, and they have a wide, uh, the, the library provides them with a wide range of reference tools. And uh, so uh, uh, here's a situation where the users, they can pick and choose between uh, uh, a well-equipped toolbox. Uh, so, uh, in the, from a v Wikipedia perspective, it's very interesting to know can Wikipedia compete in this environment. So, therefore, the, these questions. Uh, well, about a bit about background. Uh, you can see here that, uh, like, um, uh, a vast majority of the, the respondents were born in the 1950s or 60s. Uh, and uh, there was an overrepresentation of men. There is a over, general overrepresentation in the parliament. Uh, it's like 53% uh, of the seats uh, are occupied by men. Uh, and in, in, in this uh, respond, uh, re the respondents, even more percentage participated. So we have an overrepresentation of men in the study. Um, we also have an overrepresentation of uh, yeah. So, uh, we have an overrepresentation of from certain parties like the uh, left party and the green party and the Christian Democratic Party. They were e very eager to answer, uh, though we have an underrepresentation from Social Democrats and uh, a party called Swede Sweden Democrats. Uh, okay. Um, uh, the first question was uh, on, on the Wikipedia specific question was uh, when did you use Wikipedia the last time was it? And uh, as you can see, 60% uh, have used the Swedish Wikipedia on uh, within the last seven days. And uh, if you add the ones who uh, used it last the, the last month, you have 82% of of the respondents who actually did that. And is that much? I mean, do they use other uh, encyclopedias as frequent as, as this? Uh, there is a main competitor in Sweden called the National Encyclopedia, and it, it has an online edition, and it's uh, equally available to the, to, to the Swedish parliamentarians. Uh, but they don't use it as much. Only 26% uh, of the respondents have used it within the last 30 days. So it was a knockdown victory for Wikipedia there. Uh, well, it should also be said that 5% uh, five, five percentage of, of the respondents have never used the Swedish Wikipedia, the language version, and uh, uh, the equivalent uh, using NE, N National Encyclopedia, uh, who had never used the, uh, the National Encyclopedia was 32%. So, uh, it seems like among the respondents they prefer Wikipedia. Okay, I have to hurry up. Uh, we also looked on the usage of Britannica online. 
uh, and the, the brown part of the circle means never used. So uh, they don't sit around and use encyclopedias very much in general, but they use Wikipedia. And uh, the, re the question is why? And it's not because they believe Wikipedia is very reliable. Only three percentage of the respond uh, respondents thought that. Um, but it's because it's fairly reliable. Yeah, it's enough for them. Well, it's good enough. Uh, of, of, yeah, and uh, uh, we also asked, uh, have you ever recommended the using uh, Wikipedia to any other uh, member of parliament? And actually, they have, uh, some of them has had, and it's uh, interesting to know, uh, it's all the, the colorful parts here, uh, that uh, covers some kind of discussion about sources that actually it, it, having recommended Wikipedia means that you actually have a, a discussion about what source to use. I, I didn't believe. Uh, well, that's a new finding for me. Um, they don't advise against using Wikipedia in general. Only three percentage of the respondents did that. So it's not what it is. I, I imagine they don't advise against other things either, but uh, they don't. Uh, the, the possibility to write or, e or edit, uh, we asked them what, uh, what was their opinion on, on the possibility of writing and editing the encyclopedia, and they were quite uh, fairly positive about uh, this possibility themselves, though uh, they actually didn't use this possibility uh, to a great extent. Um, well, it should be said that 33% uh, 30, of, of the um, respondents uh, had once or more used uh, Wikipedia <coughs> to write an edit. So that's uh, more or less the user study. OK. Um. I'm, I'm finalizing with the, with the third point, which we came up now when, when we met in here yesterday, <laughs> where we're preparing the presentation and we're looking for the, for the, for the, for the data and, the, and the, what came out, out from the Swedish parliament. And, and we came up with an idea that would it be interesting to, to make a, a ready-made questionnaires, which could be sent for different kind of user groups. But this was just a one exercise and, and we could do <coughs> more on that to think about what would be a meaningful question and, and more generic enough to, to pose for different user groups. Uh, I think just uh, asking the, 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 the parliaments would be quite interesting and there would be a lot of benefits, especially with the outreach, uh, kind of educating the political decision makers what is Wikipedia and how it works, uh, I guess many lo lobby groups are, are actually using questionnaires to, to do the, the, exactly the same. Uh, in general, it would promote the free, free knowledge among the legislatures around the world. They would know what it is and how it works. Uh, of course, promotes transparency in administration all in and, and And then, of course, from the research point of view, we could get quite interesting, interesting data if we could add it to certain central uh, repository where, where anybody could, could use it for, for their own purposes. You want to have a last word? Not only that it would uh, improve possibilities for transparency, more transparency.
question of politicians who want to make based on the information that we on that road. Well, I think politicians, as, as everybody, are really lazy. So they probably read the first paragraph. And if it tells the fact that 97% of the scientists are of this opinion, they might believe it. And then the whole discussion is not... not <laughs> what if it's not totally true? Because there has been editorial work. Some editors at least do yeah. not believe it's true. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, we're not debating the content of truth. Yeah, I think, but I, I just think that, that, that and yeah, well, I think we could, I don't want to get into that specific question itself of that article, but I, I think that this, this fairly reliable thing, if, if that is known by the politicians and they, they it's a bit same like, what is my use of, of Wikipedia with the world news? I don't. I don't really want to. A bit relates to Jimmy's talk today that I don't want to follow that. Even BBC becomes quite annoying. But if I really want to get the facts, I check the Wikipedia article of the of related to, to, to a certain event because the, the style of writing things is, is facts, facts, facts. So if that would be known by the by the MPs, why? I'm quite sure that. that, that Another question? Yes. <coughs> Back to yes. You, you showed us very interesting figures, but I would be interested in knowing your own conclusions. What did you take away from this study? What were your surprises, or what, what did you understand better after doing this? I, I did a user study. Uh, uh, it was teachers in uh, upper secondary school before, and they all believed they were surrounded by Wikipedia critics. I asked them, uh, if, if their colleagues believe, uh, uh, thought that the, the Wikipedia, Swedish Wikipedia language version uh, was more reliable than they thought themselves, and they and uh, they they thought they were surrounded by skeptics. In fact, they were not. Okay, and uh, uh, that was a couple of years ago, and nothing of that shown, showed in this user study politicians uh, in Swedish Parliament do not believe they are surrounded by Wikipedia skeptics. That, that. Remember the exact uh, exact words, but it's not about uh, uh, if they're positive. Uh, do they regard it as a positive thing that anyone can write and edit? Yes. Most definitely yes, but I didn't. I didn't ask that question. I, I think that that would be interesting and possible to do, at least in Sweden and Finland, to to follow up the IP IP numbers where the edit comes. And, and I'm sure just before the election, you can see a lot of traffic coming from the parliament IP numbers. Yeah, probably so too. Okay, thank you.